Hello, this is Lamont again with a show and tell. As you see before me, or you, or the camera, or however you want to say it, we have Duke Nukem. Back in the day, if you had a PC, you were probably playing Duke Nukem later on. N64 and PlayStation would get their own versions of it. But as for the toy, it came with Okay, if I just fall down. Two of these little submachine guns. Nice. It came with this nice little gun or knife here. All nice and covered with blood. I'm gonna assume that that was uh, alien blood. And the Devastator. Not to be confused with the big robot with made of construction vehicles. This thing would shoot out missiles like a, you wouldn't believe. Now there was two versions. There was this one that I got and packaging didn't even mention there were gonna be any other figures. And that's how far back this one was. Then later on, I think it was like a year or two, they re released them. And they had the pig cop, Octo Brain, and I think they had him with another outfit. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> but if it wasn't for the plastics kind of cheap, there were some posts, as you can see, some of these are broken off. It's not that they're lost, it's just they're kind of brittle, and they would have attached to here. And then the other version would have had, like, I think, it, I want to say the freeze ray. That's where it would have attached there. You could attach these here. I'm going to only do the knife because it's it's a bit of a soft plastic. I mean, you're not going to hurt anyone with it. But I did have it, uh, this one on here and being kind of flimsy, it broke. Of course, back then they had... All sorts of little mods and stuff you can get over the counter. Didn't have to download because the internet was still kind of young. And they announced they were going to come out with a brand new game for Duke called Duke Nukem Forever. Of course, before I progress too far, Duke Nukem originally was a side screw stroller. Where you would have seen him going, do, 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 like, kind of like Mario, but with guns, attacking the aliens. Then, after Doom, they decided to make it 3D. Or s s fake it, kind of. Because if you ever look at one of the aliens on that thing, you pretty much, if you see it like this, no matter how the cam camera moved, you'd be seeing it like that. Anyway, back to Tanuku Forever. They were saying it was going to be nice. They were using a Quake engine, this engine, that engine. Yeah. Forever took for, well, forever. And then, finally, 2011, we finally get, let's put him back here for a second. And we have Duke Nukem. Forever. Nice little packaging. As you can see, he comes with his gold gun, which if you have the 360 version, I'm not sure about PS3. If you keep that through the whole game, you actually get an achievement for it. And he's got his uh, little cigar. As you can see, Oxo Brain, all that. Turn around. Some suggested things. And Back here, Duke Nukem, Ultimate Alien Ass Kicker, has been shrunk to action figure size for your gripping pleasure. <laughs> Whether you're lining up hordes of aliens or just trying to kill flat dolls or whatever, okay, we'll get around that. If you want to see it, pause it or whatever. I've already opened this guy. Let's take on it.
I'm gonna do it behind camera because yeah, my setup kind of faulty. I don't want to lose the cigar. And here we are, Duke Nukem. And it's a little size comparison. It's almost like he grew up. Someone blew him up to be a man. I won't go there. This guy has a lot in common with this older one. Both kind of muscle bound. I might as well put him in a position like that. Got that. Haircuts. Though this one's a little more realistic. This one's my NECA. Don't ask me what that guy's from. They both have their little belts. The uh, uh, new. Thing. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't stand up to them. Backs slightly different. Then again, this one was supposed to hold a weapon. This guy doesn't. Let's see if we can get him to stand for a second. The old one, you had a swivel here, swivel here. Pretty much everything was swivel, bicep swivel, hand swivel, 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 swivel. Yeah, this guy's kind of dirty. I need to clean him up. I don't know how well it's coming on the high def camera, but I'm willing to bet it's still. Here, we've got, I want to say ball joint, but it's probably more like a peg. I can't see much. Then you got a bicep ball thing here. I mean, this guy's got his gloves, little, uh, his little symbol there, glasses. This is kind of a soft rubber here. Same on here. When I first got it, there was a little bit of paint. You can kind of still kind of see it. It got stuck. But, as far as his legs are articulated, he can do the splits. Don't know why he would, but he can. It by swivel here. And something new, new for me, he's got two joints. He got one, two. He can kick his own ass. Stomach crunch. It's got to be a swivel as the old one. And then, I think his feet are on a ball joint too, I think, from what I can tell. And man, the detail in this guy. He is amazing. Of course, he's also got his gun, which looks kind of melted, but oh well. You get him to stand. He can hold his gun. Now we can make it look like he's shooting his old self <laughs> for taking so long to make a new game. Now, I don't know if anyone likes to get into that game, but I just gotta say, as a fan of Duke Nukem, I like it. If you don't like it, pfft, I don't care. Not where, oh where, get his little cigar go. Ooh. The one thing I'm worried. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then he's got his cigar. Look at that thing. Can't focus. Here, let's put that down. Focus. Oh, look at that. Looks like a real stogie. Which, you can put him in his hand. Kind of like. So, all I gotta say is. If this is my first NECA. I want to be honest. This is my first NECA. If this is the quality NECA can come up with, oh my god. I wish they got the Halo series. Now that he stops looking like he's going to kill himself, shoot someone. Well, maybe I should turn this around so it looks at least like he's holding it. Still be right. Shoot the audience. Oh man, NECA hit this guy out of the ballpark. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, camera. This guy has some articulation. Back in the day, that was pretty good. But it's almost like 
night and day. Why stand up? And of course, my camera setup sucks. And I almost wonder. Let's take this out for a second. Well, you probably no. It's a little too fat. Oh, maybe. Ah, uh, now he is heavily armed and with a cigar. Anyway, this is landmine with a sweet neck of review. And if you're a Duke Nukem fan, this is definitely for you. If you're a NECA fan, this is definitely for you. If you don't like either, don't buy it. If you're a fan of the game, buy it. If you don't like the game, but you like NECA, this is a good figure. Even if you don't like the game. I mean, the detail is amazing. I mean, he looks just as smug as he normally does. I mean, wow. I mean, just look at the, like the hair. It just looks like actual hair. With my camera falling down. Back. Oh, wow. It almost looks like he's got a shot or something. It's the first time I've noticed that. Huh. If anyone's got this figure and they got that, let me know. Oh, well. But anyway, this line on. I'll catch you later.